My name is Bernardo Beckles. I am a registered nurse and I'm also a cardiovascular perfusionist. I've been a registered nurse for the past 15 years and recently I finished studies in cardiovascular perfusion. So perfusionists basically keep patients alive while doctors fix the heart. So in order for them to fix the heart, the heart needs to be stopped and emptied of blood. So someone needs to keep the patient alive, keep the arteries perfused while he's doing his work. So that's where we come in. And we circulate the blood, we keep all the organs alive so that when he's finished, we can return the blood, restart the heart, and then everything is back to normal. To be honest, I tell people that nursing chose me. I did not choose nursing. And this is because when I was a child, I, my father used to help people in the community. He used to go around and give food to people that were homeless. He visited the district hospital, cut people's hair, etc. So those seeds were planted from small. So when I finished Combe Mayor and I went to Barbara Community College, I did an associate degree in mass and biology. Post that, there was a decision, you know, what do I do? Do I go to university and study mass and become a mass teacher? You know, big up to all mass teachers. But then a suggestion was made that I should try nursing. And at that time, all the nurses I knew were, you know, doing well, they were comfortable. You know, and then I was saying maybe I can use nursing as a stepping stone if I wanted to do something like medicine. So I entered the profession and after being in nursing, I found that I enjoyed the profession. You know, it brought a measure of satisfaction to my life and I enjoy helping others. So I stayed. Um, obviously, when you are in something and you love it, you tend to excel. So then people was like, um, so you don't want to do medicine now? And I was like, no, I don't think so because I enjoy what I do. And I don't think all the best minds need to go into those type of professions. We need to stay where we are and help to grow these professions as well. I like the fact that in nursing, we can assist persons from being in a state of ill health to being or to going towards an optimal state of wellness. They not, may not be at maximum, but we can assist with getting them there in addition to you know having the Lord's input. Um, also when persons come back maybe one month, two months after they've been discharged and say thank you for the job that you've done. Thank you for looking after my mom or my dad. That fills my heart with gladness. I'm happy that I was able to make a difference in, in someone's life. And that's where I get majority of my satisfaction. Being a male in a female dominated profession is, is fun. You know, I find that because you are one of the few males in nurses, the, the females tend to rally around you. I enjoyed my time thus far working with women and now I am at a stage where I mentor and I teach so people now look up to me as a result of, you know, my experience. So if you are interested in service, if you have a, a passion for caring for others and you care about others, I would say come into nursing. Nursing is one of those professions that you get lots of satisfaction from. Um, it is a noble profession. Once you understand that your life is a life of service and you operate in that vein, I think that you will great gain lots of rewards from this profession we call nursing. I would also like to encourage other men that are interested in nursing to come. You know, it's not seen as only a profession for women. You know, I have I would have come when 
there was some stigma attached. But over the years, that stigma had been eroded, and men tend to do very well in nursing. So if you have that um, desire to care for others, nursing is a job for you. What I would suggest is that you would volunteer first, get into the institution just to see what it is all about, and then you can make a more, a more informed decision as to if nursing would be the career choice for you. Thank you.